the United States is a massive country featuring highly diverse wildlife with everything from grizzly bears to rattlesnakes. Here are the most dangerous animals that make America the home of the brave. Number seven. First up on the countdown is a redoubtable ravager who can effortlessly tear you to pieces like tissue paper with its bare hands. The grizzly bear. The grizzly bear is one of three species of bear native to North America. The other two are the black bear and the polar bear. Of the three, the grizzly bear has the most infamous reputation. In fact, their scientific name is Ursus arctos horribilis. And the attacks from these big guys tend to be far more serious than the attacks from the other two. When tangling with a grizzly bear, you'll be lucky if you barely escape with your life. The reason that grizzlies are so adept at ripping you to pieces is their formidable size and strength. Weighing in at approximately 600 pounds, male grizzly bears can grow up to 10 feet tall. Altogether, they're roughly the size of five human men. What's more is that they are ridiculously strong. Their bite is powerful enough to crush a bowling ball. Their size, coupled with their aggressive territorial nature, makes grizzly bears a ferocious force to be reckoned with. When attacking its doomed victim, a grizzly bear will stand on its hind legs, towering over the petrified prey which will at that point will have more than likely soiled its underwear. The grizzly will clamp down on its future meal's mouth, preventing it from being able to bite back. Pop quiz, hotshot. What do you think is the recommended reaction when running into a wild bear in the forest that maximizes your potential for survival? See if you can guess the correct answer in the comments below, and I'll let you know later in the video if you're right. Number six. Next up is a prodigious predator that some consider as America's perfect killer, the mountain lion. Despite its name, the mountain lion is actually more closely related to the domestic house cat than the lion, but that probably makes them even more dangerous. Any cat owner knows that those little things are vicious. So take a house cat and multiply their destruction by about 50 and you'll get an idea of what a mountain lion can do. Their favorite way to snuff out the life of their meals is with a strong bite to the back of the neck and they love to aim for that spot where their canines can land between vertebrae and pierce into the spinal cord. These formidable felines can grow up to 300 pounds and measure nine feet from nose to tail. Mountain lions are excellent climbers, but their specialty is speed. They've been clocked in at 50 miles an hour. So if a mountain lion is feeling like turning you into an afternoon snack, there's truly nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number five. It doesn't take a genius to look at the American alligator and realize that these things are extremely dangerous. Native to the southeast portion of the United States, the alligator commonly measures over 15 feet in length and weighs in at an impressive half a ton. The alligator gives us a glimpse into the prehistoric world of the dinosaurs. What's most notable about the alligator is their Herculean bite. The jaws of the alligator are incredibly powerful and it's been recorded as having the strongest laboratory measured bite of any living creature on the planet. They use this incredible power to grip their prey, but they can also bite through bones and crack turtle shells like peanuts. Thankfully for us, their preferred diet consists of animals that can be swallowed in a single bite, like fish and birds but they are also known to tackle larger prey like deer. They'll just hide below the surface of the water, invisible to the naked eye. And when Bambi comes to the bank of the river for a nice drink of refreshing water in the warm summer afternoon, BAM! The alligator will strike out of nowhere and drag it into the depths below. Their favorite move is known as the death roll where the alligator grips its prey and spins it violently, ripping it into bite-sized chunks. Essentially, they're Mother Nature's version of a garbage disposal. Number four. 
The area where America truly shines, other than the Olympics, of course, is with our sharks. The waters off of the Pacific and the Atlantic coasts are home to some of the largest and most dangerous sharks on the planet. All of the big three man-eating species can be found off of America's shores. We've got the great white shark, the tiger shark, and the bull shark. And the USA is the shark attack capital of the world, accounting for nearly half of the reported attacks globally. In sunny California, every recorded shark attack fatality has been attributed to the great white shark. But in Florida, the number one suspect in shark attacks is the tiger shark. Just thinking about these monsters makes me almost shark myself. What? Number three. Just talking about number three on the list really rattles my cage. Slithering into the list is the rattlesnake. These snakes are named after the specialized rattle at the end of their tail that they shake as a warning sign to anything that crosses their path. The rattlesnake is unique to America and was actually considered as one of the top options as the national animal before the bald eagle swooped in and took the title. Rattlers vary widely in length from 18 inches to six terrifying feet. Not only are they extremely territorial and aggressive, but the rattlesnake is equipped with a powerful venom that is capable of causing severe pain, intense tissue damage, and even heart failure. Rattlers fall under the category of pit vipers, which means that they have special heat-sensitive pits on their faces that enables them to detect warm-blooded animals at night like the freaking predator. Number two. For our number two spot, we have the most statistically deadly animal in the entire country. These nefarious bastards take out more Americans every year than any other creature in the animal kingdom. The deer. Deers are responsible for around 200 human deaths a year. How are they so destructive, you ask? Is it their powerful kicking hooves or their sharp antlers? No, it's because deers are super bad at crossing roads. It's estimated that approximately 100,000 deer are pancaked every year by motorists. And swerving to avoid deer causes car accidents on a daily basis. It's answer time. So how are you going to survive a bear attack? According to the Mother Nature Network, the best way to survive a bear attack is to always carry bear mace. Bear mace is basically a super concentrated version of pepper spray, and it's effective at stopping 92% of bear attacks, which is a substantial step up from a gun or a rifle, which only work about 50% of the time. Apparently, aiming accurately when a bear is charging directly at you is quite difficult. If, however, you don't have bear mace, the best course of action is to hit the dirt. When a bear charges you, fall down and lace your fingers over the back of your neck to protect it. Guard your stomach by lying on the ground and assume the fetal position with your knees tucked under your chin. Next, pray that the bear gets bored looking at a grown adult trembling on the ground and just leaves you alone. Stay down for at least 20 minutes because bears are known to linger. Number one, coming in at the number one spot is the lion's mane jellyfish. This monstrosity is a cold water species native to the Northern Pacific and Atlantic oceans. They've got us surrounded. They're also known as the giant jellyfish, which is an apropos moniker because this thing is absolutely enormous. We're gonna need an entire tub of peanut butter for all this jelly. This big guy has a bell that's eight feet across and can grow up to 120 feet long. That's approximately five buses parked in a row. These monster jellies can weigh up to a quarter ton. To make matters worse, they commonly occur in large swarms, meaning that they roll in packs to your local beach, forcing the lifeguards to shut down the whole area to swimmers. Not cool, jellies. These jellyfish also make it down to Australian shores, and it's reported that the Australian lifeguards have begun wearing pantyhose to protect their legs against the jelly stings. That's pretty lame, Aussies. I'd expect more from you. The sting of the lion's mane jellyfish can be highly painful, and National Geographic describes it as potentially fatal. 
Another fun fact is that the lion's mane jellyfish stingers remain active even after the jellyfish has died. In a recent incident at a beach in New Hampshire, a single washed up lion's mane jellyfish broke apart and the fragmented tentacles stung 150 people. Badgers, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Which of these American animals were your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Badger Battalion. See you next time.